Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we've got to give you some information about meteor strikes. And imminent Americans are being warned, according to World Net Daily and other scientific magazines. Americans are being warned of imminent, deadly meteor strikes. I repeat, this is the headline. Americans are being warned of imminent, deadly meteor strikes. I want to thank Troy of North Carolina for getting this report to me. With NASA reporting, according to science.time.com, and NASA finds new asteroid headed in our direction, quote, potentially hazardous asteroid nearly half a mile wide. Whoa, that's huge! Is headed toward the Earth. And some upstate New Yorkers are claiming on Syracuse.com that the meteor sightings in upstate New York, some are convinced they are um, headed in this direction. They've experienced a loud boom and a bright light in the sky last night caused by a meteor. By a meteor. Now this happened, of course, last night. And last night, of course, was day two of the seven days of passage. Also, day two of the seven days of mourning for Ariel Sharon. When I say seven days of passage, it's the seven days that the Earth has to pass through the comet ice and debris trails. We've been talking about it now since uh, late October that this day was coming, that this week was coming. I was more concerned about the seven days of passage than I ever was about the comet ice in itself. I will hope that Comet Isa would remain intact, come around the sun, the sun on the perihelion, and be a spectacular show during December. But it broke apart into huge, huge, I counted when it first happened, around 21 huge rocks, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely like a shotgun full of huge rocks, and it, it, it lost its electromagnetic uh, charge, thus it wasn't bright no more, but it's still, those, those were flying uh, through space. They went over top the earth right around December 25th, 26th, and uh, they were about 41 million miles above us. But the trail that was with this comet as it headed toward the sun, and then it whipped around, and then the trail as it pulled away, the earth is passing through it, and right now is being double whammied, and that's why there is 126 uh, confirmed events uh, according to www.amsmeters.org that actually tracks all of the events. There's 126 events since January 9th, okay, uh, that have been spotted and confirmed, and that's just in America. That's just in America. That's not counting those huge fireballs over Australia, and other in parts of Europe and around the world. I mean, they've been seen in Texas, New York, Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, West Virginia, Arizona, West Virginia, Texas, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, Connecticut, Colorado, Alabama, Pennsylvania. Do you want me to go on? Kentucky, Florida. I mean, 126 meteors since January the 9th. Now, here's what the article is saying on World Net Daily. Just uh, the, just when American popula population first prepared for the possibility of a nuclear blast, a person's best option for surviving a meteor strike is the same duck and cover uh, created during the 1940s and 50s when nuclear weapons were still in their infancy. The warning comes from the Physicians for Civil Defense, and you can find them at www physiciansforcivildefense.org. This is not Paul Begley hyping anything up. This is not BP Earthwatch and Jesse Waltman. This isn't no... This is the physicians uh, for civil defense org. This is uh, science.time. This is NASA. This is uh, Syracuse.com. Uh, this is ammeteors.org. And, it go, and this is sot.net, uh, dot, or sot.net, uh, and I could just go on and on and on. 
And listen to what's going on here. And we've been telling you about it for months. And finally, these guys are going to talk to you about it. Uh, we're telling you about the meteorites, but also NASA's confirming of a huge asteroid headed toward the Earth. Now, um, they're also saying that such a light will be followed by a deadly shock wave within seconds. Those who drop in cover will probably survive. Those who do not are likely to be killed or suffer severe injury. The organization's goal is to save lives of first responders in the event of a disaster, especially terrorist attacks using dirty bombs or nuclear weapons. So that's how everybody trained for massive explosions. Well, they're saying the same type of mentality needs to be implemented today in what they call a three-part plan, drop and cover, shelter in place, radiologic monitoring or monitoring radioactivity. These are the three fronts that needs to be done. Now, uh, the Department of uh, Home Front Department and WorldNet Daily Superstore items, and they start talking about different things you could use. It's always good to have things like extra water, batteries, uh, canned goods, dry foods, those types of things. It's always good to have extra stuff like that for any possibility, not just a meteor strike. Not just an earthquake, not just a nuclear explosion or a dirty bomb, but there's so many floods. There's there's so many things that could take place uh, around the world. We're living. A, we have a very violent planet. Now listen, what I'm going to tell you. The Bible says it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the coming of the Son of Man. If you go back and study the days of Noah, it wasn't that only that they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Okay, and every imagination of their thoughts were on evil continually. It wasn't only that fallen angels had consummated uh, sexual relationships with the daughters of men and created giants. But the Bible said that the earth was violent. Now we know the people were violent, but it also distinctly lets you know that so was the earth. And we can confirm that through science. Just go back and look at the fossils and different things that have taken place on the planet. Prior to the flood, the earth became violent. Prior to the flood, which, which was the catastrophe of the globe, prior to the flood, the earth became violent. Prior to the coming of Jesus Christ, the earth will become violent. And that's what you're beginning to see. It also says the heavens, Jesus said it this, word, this way, in Luke 21, 25, he said, uh, For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. But he said, but, but he told us to uh, lift up our heads, look up for our redemption's drawing nigh, for we shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. So we need to just go ahead and look up, lift up our heads for our redemption's drawing nigh. We're coming, it's coming, folks, it's winding up. When I keep telling you a coming apocalypse, when I went on YouTube, and the Lord told me to go on YouTube uh, in uh, March the 1st, 2010, almost four years ago, and then I went on radio later uh, that year, the Lord told me specifically to name the broadcast Coming Apocalypse because the, the people of the earth need to understand that there are events that's going to happen on the planet in the beginning of sorrows way before we start talking about a tribulation period or way before we start talking about certainly before you even talk about the wrath of God. The body of Christ will not be here for the wrath of God, but for the persecutions and some of the catastrophic events leading up to this, yes, we will. And that's, that is, uh, that's some of the confusion that I think some of the uh, Bible scholars have, not intentionally, but just didn't quite study it all the way through. They assumed that there'd be no catastrophic events, no real bad wars, no real bad, bad chemical spills or nuclear explosions. They just thought the church would be gone before they got a hangnail. Truth is, Christians are going to be persecuted and murdered and genocide, and, and it's already happening. There will be also the earth will become violent just like it was in the days of Noah. These things are going to happen and we're not even talking about the wrath of God because you don't want to be here for the wrath of God. So duck and take cover. I can tell you the best way to take cover. Uh, you can get you some extra batteries and water and stuff like that. That's fine. But don't panic. Don't panic. Get your soul right with God. Get faith. 
get covered in the blood of Christ and be prepared for the events that are coming upon the earth. I'm Pastor Paul Bailey. Don't miss today's broadcast, 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. And guess what the name of the show is? You got it. Coming Apocalypse. I'll see you in a little bit. God bless. It's at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on live stream and new live stream channel. Also on Blog Talk Radio. And if you don't have any of those available, but you got a cell phone, you can dial this number, 347-324-5208. That's 347-324-5208. And you can listen to the entire three hours live on your cell phone, wherever you are. Just call that number. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We had 16 people saved yesterday on our live broadcast, live. Who in, there, There's live chat rooms. And they said, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. And I prayed with these people on the spot. 88 people Sunday night during the live broadcast and one after the broadcast closed. So people are coming to Christ, but are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.